Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. This is some yellow and white that made a pale color. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. This is my artist loft white, which I actually feel like making a little gray. So I think I'm going to just stir that around. Not a lot. Just a little. Put some more white in there. Some more yellow, or some yellow for the first time. Some more white. A little yellow. I really want to put some of that Anita's white in. But I guess I'm going to try this first. I'm going to save this little dish of colors and hope I remember to use it. Maybe one more dose. Just so I make sure I have enough paint. Maybe a little tiny splash of the orange. Ha! Ah. I'm going to have to make some more of this yellow. That's a lot of paint for me. And I have a couple edge catchers. start with my sky. Let's just see what happens with my sky drama. Let's use the smaller edge catcher first. My ring is turned around. <laughs> I can't stand that feeling of a ring between your fingers. Send that right back again. And I think I just want some more white in there. To make clouds. Now I need the longer edge catcher, although I'd like to use it a little bit at a time. I don't think I can get away with that. I need a very, very long edge catcher, and fortunately for me, I have one. That is a tremendous sky. This might be really fast. I just need to make sure I have some kind of a seal, and I don't usually go all the way down, but this time I need to. The full length. And once I get enough paint there, I can squeeze it so that it will cover all my edges. And then I can bring it right back down again into the artwork. I hope. Grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Take all of my spare paint put it right back into the picture and I'm really interested in having observed recently that the sun in the sky sets on the horizon and uh, I want to Make sure that I can do that. Let's grab. Oh. Let's grab whatever we can. I am having a very messy day today. Highly unusual for me. And I have 
just wanted to have this very dramatic sunny horizon forever. I was trying to make it a third and a third, but I'm not trying that anymore. Now I'm afraid that if I tip it down, the sky will swallow my orange stripe, but I am also thinking that if I put that white in there, I got a better shot of keeping it, but Right now I'm thinking that that thing, whatever it is, needs to go away. Okay, so now it's up to me to do something on my bottom half, but what I really want to do is get rid of this paint across my top before I go on. Right into my scrape dish. Just because I don't need it all over my turntable tile top. And it is time for a new spatula. That one goes in the bucket. Now what I want to do is just basically bloom out the bottom. So I think I'm going to spread some paint just to moisten the background. Pull that paint down from the white stripe above for the same exact reason. some of it on the edges just because it's there. And then I'm going to pick a couple of colors and I have one more edge catcher I can still use if I want it. I'm going to pull this all the way over and knock off all that paint. Luckily I have quite a few spatulas so I can rotate them out. Now, I did not check in advance, but I have started to use tax, upholstery tax in my bottles. And so far, so good. That seems to be something that's working well. Put it right back in there again. I have some fire opal. That was a, um, <laughs> that was a 24 karat gold with a little orange in it. From Decor at Americana. Now I might have quite a bit of white showing through when I do this. I can't use the Prussian blue but I can use the purple. I'm trying to think if I want what I want. No. Maybe a little bit of the dioxazine. Excuse me, that was the dioxazine purple. This is the Prussian blue. And I always like a little gold because it's a very nice neutral. And I want to put some black in there only because the black selective it really doesn't do much other than make the colors pop, which is good enough. Okay, so this might be really simple. My tack is not going back in. I got it. Let's grab the cap to this and get it out of here. I wish I could. And here is my, that is not what I'm looking for. This is the American Floatrol. I'm gonna you're doing something I consider kind of simple. Let's hope I'm right. I'm going to swipe across here twice. I 
kind of want to start in the middle and then go back again. Like so. And I want to take the residuals. I really want to use them. I'm liking that. I've got more residuals from my scrape dish. It occurs to me that I have purple cell activator. As long as I can, there we go, I found it. <laughs> and I'm gonna give that a shot. Do I want a little more green in there? I think I like the green. I think I can have a little more here, and a little more there. Now I've got to go the same way, but I'm going to start. I'm going to start from a different point. So instead of starting from here over, I'm going to start sooner than that. I'm going to try and use all the residuals. right on the edges. Not sure what to do with that. What I used to do, and what I do now, might be two different things. If I have a nice, I'll just find a way to blend it in. Scrape off my card. I think I'm going to go for the black again. So my cell activator recipe is right underneath the video along with my regular pouring recipe. I try and blow it down to the edge. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I see something that does not belong. That was rather large. So I'm confused as to whether I should start here or start here and try and move backwards. I kind of don't mind that. I'm thinking that it would be okay with me to use anything that came off just to make some, to change up the pattern, patterns uh. I've got plenty of paint in my scrape dish to cover my, my bottom and my sides, some of which is already covered, so that's working well. And I think, outside of a little tiny bit of orange, the removal of whatever that is, which doesn't seem to want to come out at all. I will get you, my pretty. Got it. Now I'm going to blow out
I'm going to blow into where the white is and make some cloud shapes. drag a little bit of that lighter color orange right down into the sun, the sunny area. Part of me wants to tip that a little bit. Maybe I'd be better off not doing that. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And if you have an interest in purchasing it, use the hashtag and the file number from the video. Title. And the email address directly below the link tree. The first blue link or the second blue link under the video, depending on if I put the tools video in. If I didn't put the acetate tools video in, uh, let me know and I'll add it. Because I do forget sometimes. I really want some more of that orange in that sky, but I don't think I really need it. I think it is what it is. For now, at least. If I wanted to add trees. I kind of want to add trees. Without paint chips. I like using my tweezers to add trees. As long as there's a dark line along the horizon line. And I could definitely do that again. Just not sure about how many or how much. So there are some trees. <laughs> I want some more. I just put a little bead along the edge. Drop it in there. I think if I wanted branches, I could add them tomorrow. But in the meantime, that's kind of fun. I've got one minute left to say thank you very much for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. If you'd like to help support the production of videos at the studio, look for the exhibition video on the end screen to see the prizes for the monthly drawing that happens at the end of the month. And anyone who contributes through PayPal is automatically entered. I love you guys. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching longer. I'm going to try and zoom in. This has odd colors, but they're kind of also magnificent. Really odd, but kind of cool. Really great cells. Let's just go right down in there. It's different. I like experimenting with outside the box colors. I won't declare this an absolute success until